Hey everyone, it's Lane with Techno Maverick, and today I want to go ahead and show you some great free options for screen capture software. So this does not involve any sort of external capture card. The one that I'm showing you right now on screen is NVIDIA GeForce Experience. This is actually what I'm using to record the screen right now, so I won't be able to show you a lot of the settings, but this is far and away the best option that is available in terms of capture quality because it is going directly through the graphics card. Um, so this is a great option, but you do have to have an NVIDIA graphics card to make that an option. This will work on, gra uh, excuse me, on laptops with NVIDIA graphics cards as well, but in most cases, most newer laptops use Optimus technology. So in those cases, in those scenarios, you will not be able to record the desktop using NVIDIA GeForce Experience. So the good news is there are some great pieces of software that will allow you to do this regardless of your hardware. So the next one that I want to show you is called Active Presenter. Now this one is specifically really for business use. It can be used for other applications. If you are going to use it to profit essentially for a business, then they will ask that you pay for it. But the free version is, uh, is great. And as far as I can tell, it is the exact same piece of software. So it will allow you to go ahead and create uh, a recording and you can resize the window that you want, uh, the, you know, whatever window size you want to have. You can do full screen. You can select a specific resolution. You can choose from different audio input devices and choose whether you do or do not want to record the system audio. And then there's some more granular controls in here as well. So I'll link to this down in the description. Uh, great piece of software. I used it for a long time. The next option that I want to show you is called Open Broadcaster Studio. This is in terms of software um, that you can use without needing an NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, this is definitely probably the best option. So it does allow you to capture from multiple different audio and video sources. If you have different displays, if you want to capture the game and then also your separate display or maybe you have an overlay, things like that. Really does a great job of working with that. It allows you to capture audio from um, multiple different devices as well as system audio. And then you can get really, really granular with the controls in terms of the quality of the output. And then also it's great for if you're streaming as it does give you some really great controls for that. There are a ton of tutorials on YouTube that will teach you exactly how to use this software. So I would definitely recommend looking into that, uh, especially if you uh, want to get into game recording and streaming. This is a great piece of software for that. Now the last one that I want to talk about is something that's built into Windows 10. Most people know about this already, but many aren't really familiar with exactly what it can do or how to use it. When you have any application open, this cannot be used to record the desktop, but when you have any application open, you can simply hit Windows key and G and it will bring up the games bar. Now the first time you do that with that particular application, it will take a little longer for the game bar to load and then you'll need to check a box down here that uh, basically asks you to tell Windows to remember that that is a game. So it'll work on things that aren't games. As you can see, it's working with the Edge browser here. But a few of the great features that are available here. First of all, you can take a screenshot. Secondly, you have Record That, which goes back and records previous things that have just happened with that application. And then you can start recording and record for any length of time. And then coming in the Windows 10 Creators update, you'll have this Beam Streaming Broadcast option. So let's go into the settings here just for a moment to show you a little bit more about what these, uh, what this application can do here. So first of all, in the game bar, you can customize exactly what shortcuts you want to use for uh, different functions. So you can see you can turn microphone um, on and off, you can start and stop recording, and then you can have a separate um, keyboard shortcut to record the last um, period of time of uh, gameplay. And what's really great about that is you can customize the length of time that it's recording um, backwards. So essentially if you are playing a game and something cool happens and you missed it somehow, um, you can basically hit that keyboard shortcut and it's gonna go ahead and record that um, in the background. So of course this can affect the performance of your system depending on exactly the specifications of your system. Um, so you may have some difficulties with that if you have maybe a slower um, CPU or slower hard drive. But then down here you'll see you can uh, choose the audio bit rate, you can choose the video frame rate, video quality. 
uh, whether or not you want to capture the mouse cursor. So it is actually pretty great, uh, pretty full featured in terms of game capture software. So that's it for this video. If you do have any questions about this software, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer.